He's been the biggest roadblock to new gun legislation in Washington. Now the pressure is mounting on Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell to take action. We've discussed this long enough. Let's pass this bill now. Some Democrats demanding McConnell call back the Senate from its five-week recess to vote on a House-passed universal background checks bill. We could fly back into Washington on Monday morning. Uh, we could pass the background check bill. and People could fly back and be home for dinner. And um, the president needs to sign this bill. McConnell didn't call back the Senate but did open the door to considering legislation to curb gun violence, writing in a statement, quote, Senate Republicans are prepared to do our part. On a private conference call, sources say McConnell dispatched three committee chairmen, including Trump confidant Lindsey Graham, to find a package of reforms that could garner bipartisan support and be signed into law by the president. Proposals could include Trump priorities, like limiting guns for people with severe mental health issues, studying the impact of violent video games, or pushing red flag laws to take guns from potentially dangerous individuals. Former McConnell advisor Scott Jennings tells CNN the Senate Majority Leader is ready to act, but time is running out. I talked to him this week, and, and he's very, very uh, grief-stricken about what has befallen our country on numerous occasions. And I think he's got the same kinds of questions that most of us have, which is, what can we actually do that would have a meaningful impact on stopping this in the future? I hear him saying uh, that he wants to find something meaningful, but, but his job is to run a process that gets to something meaningful and can get to an end product. His job is not to run a process that leads to a bunch of grandstanding and then nothing. The Republicans' goal is to work during the recess to find consensus on proposals they can tackle when lawmakers return. McConnell warning, quote, only serious bipartisan bicameral efforts will enable us to continue this important work and produce further legislation that can pass the Senate, pass the House, and earn the president's signature. Partisan theatrics and campaign trail rhetoric will only take us farther away from the progress all Americans deserve. With the 2020 election closing in and members away from Washington for the next month, the biggest factors in getting anything passed are whether both parties can reach an agreement and whether President Trump gives his blessing. We've seen time and again when he lays hands on something, the Republican Party tends to get on board.